Flexman Tallow, man of muscle mystery. You, buy this comic now or the earth is doomed. All new, no reprint, in this issue, after the fact. Grant Morrison, Frank Quietly, four issue miniseries. Now, 24 full color pages. Approved by the World Bodybuilding Association. First issue, DC Vertigo, number one, June 96, 250 US, 350 Canada. Suggested for mature readers. Barcode 7814012322145229. Okay, the comic begins. <clears throat> Flight number 230 will be boarding shortly through the K-9 doorway. Through the K-9 doorway. The K-9 doorway. This is your brain on drugs. Huh? Did you ever see that commercial? Jesus! You got that order yet, Mario? Coming right up! Two eggs and a bun twice, over easy, no running whites. Eggs, eggs, who wants eggs? Eggs? I guess that'll be me. There you go, honey. Boy, I just adore all male hemen. You're a magnificent modern Hercules, that's what you are. And you're a fine, hard-working woman. How much do I owe you? Boy, I've been waiting for this. Nothing like the protein and goodness in. Eeeh! Huh? There he goes! It's a bomb! Bomb! It's a bomb! Don't let him get away! I like to go down to the airport once a week. Usually take a taxi there and just sit for most of the day. Watching the planes. Landing and taking off. Watching the people come and go. Kids lugging bags and toy animals, businessmen checking their watches, lovers hugging and parting. I like to watch life going by, a river of faces that never grows dull. You can always count on life. Today was different. Stand back! Let me deal with this! What a build! He's famous for it! it looked like I had maybe four or five seconds before the bomb went off. So I summoned up the power of muscle mystery, activating the secret biocultic tensions of each muscle cord, each tendon. Hero of the beach! Above my head, my famous hero halo shimmeled into view. And I flexed, reaching out to probe the interior of the bomb with my body mind. But then, before I could do anything at all, the bomb just fizzed and spat and went out. And I realized it wasn't a bomb at all. It was a key. And it was about to open the strangest door of all. Jesus! Jesus Christ! How am I supposed to find anything in this mess? Look at this stuff. It must be here. I know it was here. Shit. I can't believe all this shit. Papers everywhere! Muck! This is my fucking life. Piles of paper and boxes and ah, there it is. I knew the bastard was here somewhere. There it is. Ah, the buzzer. You ever hear of faculty x Mentalo? These things have been turning up all over the place. First one appeared on the altar of a cathedral. And since then we've been finding them in hospitals, schools, banks, offices, you name it. Cartoon bombs, Jesus, look at this dumb thing. They're not even explosive. They're just hollow black balls left in where real bombs would damage the foundation of the establishment. It's like they're taunting us, showing us how fragile the whole system is. So who are they? Terrorists? Pranksters? What does Faculty X mean? Beats me. They keep sending me all this kind of weird shit. Glowing rings, x-ray goggles, star scepters, yellow boots with rigid fireproof treads. I got a drawer full of this crap. 
that a breeze of a thousand out of phase parallel earths according to the last note of a manifesto or whatever it is we get in the mail. They've even got a slogan. Just because you're paranoid, it doesn't mean they aren't paranoid too. Huh. There's a crazy kind of logic to it, don't you think? Kind of a Zen thing. You want my opinion? I think it's some kind of hoax going on, like crop circles, UFOs. Nobody's even managed to get a picture of these Facility X jokers. All we get are eyewitness accounts of figures in black cloaks running from the crime scene. Millennium fever, you know? The heat's on, society's coming apart at the same time, and everybody's holding their breath for the end of the world. If the bomb doesn't get us, the plague will. Panic's bringing the crazies out of the cracks in the paintwork. Here's something that came in today, for instance. Some kind of clue. That's no clue at all. Take a look at this, Mentello. Tell me what you make of it. The fact is... My God! This is a fact card. This is impossible. This is a fact card. Boss, you okay? You look kind of pale. What's up, boss? The fact here... Impossible. Think again, wax worker! The fact is, nothing is impossible! I haven't seen this stuff for ages. They're acting brilliant look. When you're a kid, you just do it. You don't even think about it. It's pure. It's totally pure. Shit, I gotta stop looking at all this. Be here all night. It's not what I want. Where's the phone? Where's the fucking buzzer? Where did I put the thing? I had it a minute ago. Out of the way, Tribert. Come on. Where is it? Where is it? Shit. Oh, shit. What a total mess. I can't keep... Oh, there it is. Right there. Oh, thank God. You're telling me the fact is a fictional character, right? Jesus. Things fall apart, huh? The whole of goddamn reality is coming unglued and I'm here on the night shift. He was one of a bunch of characters from a homemade comic book created by a kid called Wally Sage, Lieutenant. I was another one of those characters, but I was brought to life by Wally's psychic powers. He thought me off the page and into the real world so I could help him. He died in my arms. Maybe the fact got out too, somehow. Maybe if I find him, everything will come together. Yeah, maybe. And maybe God's just decided to ring down the curtain of the whole dumbass drama. Signs the wonders, Mentello. Wonders and signs. Goddamn phone ringing all the time. Goddamn bugs. Nobody's home. Nobody's home. Well, that's it then, huh? Nothing left to do. Meow! I have stolen your money. I've stolen your memories. I've stolen your hopes for the future. Now I dare you to uncover the shocking, sacred identity of Ogami, the fooling man. One for sorrow, two for joy, your numbers up, Flex Mentallo. Long live the lucky number gang. What have I done? I've opened the baffling box and I've let loose the power of beyond on an unsuspecting world. Reality dies at dawn. Tch. What happened to the good old days? The heroes and villains, the team-ups and dream-ups. Seems to rain all the time these days. Never seems to get light. Maybe the lieutenant is right. Maybe it's the end of the world and nothing left to do but play with our old toys. Turn on the TV, see what's happening. It's all weird cable stations these days. Hard to tell what's news and what's not. Guess it just doesn't matter anymore. AIDS. The ozone layer. The ball. It's only the tip of the iceberg these are the last days. It's oblivion. I've been telling them, but they just won't listen. I knew it was over for mankind when I first heard those weird rumblings in the Earth's core. They're getting louder every day. The Earth is doomed. I'm a dad, and I'm afraid of my little baby here. Who wouldn't be? That's why I built me a rocket ship. Gonna send my boy into space, give him a chance on some other planet out there. You call me crazy now, but soon. Not of this world. I was sent here a long time ago to teach you to show you wonders, but now it's too late. It's been so long I've forgotten all the important things I had to say. It's too late. 
A snowball singing my palm read a certain tree of a certain hour of the day. Human memories have invaded my head of of my own memories. Only fragments remain candy-striped skies. Can you imagine in a child smiling, weightless? Each floating strand of hair in a tiny eye as its tip. A swaying mass of a blinking light. Who's going to save the world now? And give your cat food! Who's going to save the world now? Yes, that's right, food! Cats love it! Uh, meow! Give it to me! That's what cats say! That's good. Lamb and turkey, ah, Tibbert. You're getting rather old, but you're a good cat. Bye, son. And I thought that was real. For a minute there, I felt myself stroking my cat's fur and walking out into the rain, but that was an hour ago or something. It's just me now telling you the story. I thought it was happening. Time's totally fucked up. And I'll never see my lovely cat again. What? My name is Sage Wallace. But you can call me Wallace Sage. Of course it's not real. It's, um... It's a secret identity. It's my secret identity. Does it matter? What? You sound weird, um... I play in a band. I write songs. Yeah, quite famous. I don't know where I am. I'm not really sure. Somewhere in the city it's raining. I don't mind, it's so hot. I'm so hot. Who is going to save the world? Does anybody care anymore? Who's gonna save the world? Does anybody care anymore? What happened here, officer? Uh, we found this poor asshole around in the back here, all tangled up. Some kind of net. He's been pretty badly beaten. Head and chest injuries, fractured spine. Guy's not making too much sense, but from what I can figure, a gang of boys did it. Christ only knows, if you ask me. It looks like he ran into a herd of goddamn rhinos on BZB. Poor bastard. I ripped it off wonderfully. This neighborhood's gone to hell. It's all gone to hell. People think the end of the world's coming. They just go crazy. What's to lose? I guess so. Listen, officer. This may sound a little queer, I guess, but I want you to tell me the first fact about anything that comes into your head. The first fact, well... Uh, there's an old abandoned school about two blocks from here. That's not much of anything, is it? It'll do, officer. Thanks. All this time, I had the answer to the man's question. Was staring me right in the face. Who's gonna save the world? It was so simple. Who always saves the world? The superheroes, that's who. It was like a light going on in my mind, dispelling the shadows of the long, dark night we'd found ourselves in. I remember the way it used to be. Remember when we turned the world on its axis to save the life of one child? Remember how we flew to the limits of unknown, titanic galleries to the petition of gods for humanity's survival? Remember when we rescued kittens from trees and asked for no reward? It all came back to me. In that place, that haunted school. Some things you can never explain. I know I saw the guy standing at the door. I was about eight at the time. I can see him now, like it's still happening. Sorry, I'm just rambling. I, I just wanted to talk to someone for a little while and no one was home, so I phoned the Samaritans. Somebody gave me this phone, yeah. It's ridiculous, you should see this thing. It's the shape of the Stingray from the King Sting series. Remember? They had the buzzer phone in that. Maybe it's a bit before your time. You got a friendly voice. I wish I could sound like that. It's a skill, isn't it? It's funny. All I can think about is being a kid, all those memories, comics. Comics everywhere, I can smell them in the room. Did you ever read comics? No, American comics. Thick comics. Mando the Mysterious. 
That was my uncle's favorite. Sort of occulty stuff. I remember there was this story called, uh, what is it? What was it? A collapse into the nucleus. Fuck, it scared the shit out of me. It's funny how that's what's left at the end, isn't it? All the stupid stuff. Not War and Peace, not James Joyce. Just the comics, the superheroes, the blazer, the flaming flag, Lord Limbo, the golden agent. Totally amazing names. I mean, when you think about it, they're like archetypical. They come right up from the depths. Those things. How can you say this stuff's stupid? How do people get so ashamed of things? I mean, I really love those comics. I didn't start saving them until I was about 12 or something, though. I had to go to the hospital for an operation, and my aunt brought me some comics to read. It was horrible. What? No, the operation. I'm talking about the operation now. Awful. The doctor had blood and stuff on his rubber boots. They gave me gas, and then I woke up in the middle of the night in total agony. Desperate for water. Nurse. I couldn't even whisper. Hours inching by like centuries. Yeah. And there was this green light. I just stared at it all night. It was like an alien intelligence watching me, conducting some kind of experiment on me. I was in real pain. I just kept thinking that if I could last the night, I'd have won. Nobody's got any idea what kids go through. I was all on my own, that fucking light, hours and hours and hours like years. Poor little me on my own. Can I help you now? You look lost, son. Need any help? I'm looking for a friend. His name was The Fact. He was a crime fighter. Don't know the name. I figured you were a parent or guardian. It's what you look like at first. Thought you might be after news or your young ward. This place been empty for years now. There's nobody here but me, son. You're wasting your time here. Wait. What is this place? It used to be a school for sidekicks. Till they closed us down. Nowhere for the boys to go after that. No supervision. They're out there now. Roman tribes of boys, sidekicks armed to the teeth and trained to kill. Beast boys and daring young athletes, super fast mercury boys in chrome trimmed suits, arch boys with trick arrows and devil may care grins. But no one to look up to anymore, see? No future, no hope. Can't blame them for running wild. If they close the school, why are you still here, old timer? I hope you don't mind me asking, but who exactly are you, anyway? Me. I'm the mightiest man in the universe, son. Got a secret origin, too. I saw the old man in the underpass. Thought he was ill, people were just passing by. But I gave him some money. It was all I had. I've been saving for a convoy terror naval battle game. There you go, mister. Hope you get better. In return for my kindness, he gave me a crossword puzzle to fill in. Said I should speak aloud the last word I wrote down. He claimed it was the word God said. The word that brought the universe and consciousness into being. So I tried it. What boy wouldn't? Didn't ever see the old man again. Sometimes I think he was my own future self. But why are you here? If you've got all these powers, you can help me save the world. It's just people who need saving. The world's fine as it is. See, I figured it was better here. It was better to stay here. Better to live and suffer as a man than to be a god looking down on others, living and suffering. I'm like a reformed alcoholic. Just one more day, sweet Jesus. One more day without saying that word. Here, you take this. I kept that weird cross puzzle. It's old now, but I'm betting it'll still work for the right person. Now I've got work to be getting on with. My advice is... You should try to you should try the railroad station. Good luck, Flex. You too. You sure have kept this place clean. The station was busy. With people hurrying home to be with their loved ones, everyone seemed scared and anxious. I could feel it all building up, a big tension and pressure pressing down on all of us. 
Then it happened. Bomb! Jumping Jesus, it's a jumping Jesus, it's a bomb. Near me like one near time seemed to slow down as he turned and looked at me, and I saw that he was fuzzy and indistinct, like one of those UFO photographs or pictures of the Loch Ness monster. And suddenly I was moving into action. Gasp! It's Flex Ventolo, man of muscle mystery! I flexed a bicep. Concrete exploded by his feet, but he kept his balance and kept on running, flickering as he went, like an old black and white cartoon from the 30s. Sorry, I keep drifting off. Are you still there? It's like hallucinations. I don't mind, it's amazing. It's like real, like another world happening. What have I taken? What do you mean? Oh, right, drugs. Yeah, I've taken a lot of drugs, haven't I? Shit. No wonder I felt so weird. Well, there was a quarter of hash at least. Two ecstasy tabs, acid. I must be coming up on that fucking acid. Jesus! I wish I hadn't taken that now. A bottle of vodka and, uh... You should see that cigarette. Oh, yeah, and those paracetamols. What? I don't know. A whole bottle, I think. What? Well, of course I'm committing suicide. What do you think? I just wanted someone to talk to, that's all. Well, I'm waiting. I just wanted to talk about the comics, see? All those shitty, amazing comics. I almost had him. I reached out for his cloak and caught hold of a trailing length of crackling material. And then I felt the static charge go dead in my hand. I felt the shape leave, the cloth and the sound of his breathing stopped, and... The fact. And I read the name of the bar printed in green ink on the back of the photo strip, and all at once that strange door swung open wide. Next, Menace of the Metallium Man. Flex Mentello, DC Vertigo, number 2, July 96, 250 US, 350 Canada, suggested for mature readers, Man of Muscle Mystery. In this issue, DC's adaptation of a story by Grant Morrison and Frank Quietly, Britain's top comics team. All new, no reprint. Four issue miniseries. Silver. Everything's flowing, it's all flowing, it's so weird. My hand's dripping, fuck, it's melting. I shouldn't have taken that acid. Are you still there? I think it's rain. What? Acid? Yeah, I told you I'd taken it. I took everything that was in the house. What? It's not the acid that's killing me, it's the painkillers. You can't overdose on LSD. What? None too steady on my pins there. Christ, I'm fucked. I'm really fucked. It's those houses again. Like enamel or something, ceramic. I can see them when I close my eyes. I had a little fish when I was a kid, like a, a goldfish. His name was Peter. His boy had a miniature castle in it, made out of ceramic stuff. Just one of those cheap little things, you know, it makes me feel creepy just thinking about it. It's got something to do with, oh, there was this time I was just a kid, not even five. I was taken to this place, I think it was a sort of warehouse or something. And there were all these little boys squatting in a circle. They were shitting on the floor. What? I know, but they wanted me to come and sit with them. Oh, why were they shitting on the floor? What is this place? Who brought me here? Who am I with? What? No. I don't remember I. My cigarettes are wet. No, I don't want to think about that place. I want to talk about comics. I'm committing suicide and I phoned you people to talk about the comics. I just want to talk about something cheerful before I die. After the Fact, Part 2, My Beautiful Head. Grant Morrison, writer, Frank Quietly, artist, Tom McCraw, colorist, Ellie DeVille, letterer, Kerry Kolowski, assistant editor, and Stuart Moore, editor. The final battle with the Metallium Man was one of my greatest exploits. That was the day I faced him down in a devastated section of Technoopolis. Part man, part robot, part product of a world that wouldn't care. He was surely one of the most terrifying faces in my rose gallery. 
There were five different varieties of metallium in those days. Shocking pink, silver, ultraviolet, lamb and turkey, and the lethal black M. The sinister radioactive residue left behind after the disappearance of a golden age flex mentallo. But that was a long time ago, when the world still had a smile on its face. Now I'm here, with the story so far, here at the end of the world, still searching for my lost fictional colleague, the crime fighter known as The Fact. Pursuing a member of a shady group of subversive known as Faculty X, this photo booth in the railway station, I now have proof positive that The Fact has escaped like me into the real world. It seems impossible, seeing him like this. And on the back, the name and address of a bar here in the city. Who's leaving me these weird clues? Who is Faculty X? Where are they taking me? And has the fact somehow joined this eerie group? I don't know where it's going to end, but somewhere the doomsday clock is ticking down to zero hour. Behind all the frantic noise we make to draw it out, in spite of the mad hustle and rush, I can still hear it. I can still hear it ticking. Mister! Can I have your autograph? Just write to my best buddy, Wally Sage! Sure there, little fellow. There's a whole town made of ceramic stuff. Little enameled gardens, I don't know, there's something perverted about it. Gnomes watching me undress, it's horrible. It's making me feel sick. Flexman Tower's in trouble! Take your best shot, Mentalium man. Which head would he rotate in attack mode? Which type of metallium would I have to contend with this time? Would it be black metallium which induced coma? Would it be shocking peak metallium under the influence of which I was invariably invited to explore complex issues of gender and sexuality? Silver metallium which robbed me of my sense of humor? Or the uncanny ultraviolet metallium? The strangest of all the mystery metals. Hmm. Had the power to turn me into anyone, complete with the whole life and memories affected by its rays. I could become a child in school in India, a soldier on parade, a woman reporter on a busy metropolitan newspaper, a criminal or a judge. And while under the influence of UVM, I always forgot that I had ever been a superhero. Was I a divorced woman trying to make ends meet in Idaho? A corrupt businesswoman in Paris? Must. Fight. Losing identity. Got to fight. Fight it. Who's fighting? Who? Who am I? Who am I? A pop singer dying in an alleyway? Crushing rain in my fist? Squeezing it into liquid diamonds? What? Why do I have to keep talking? No one's gonna find me. I know you mean well, but I don't want to be found. It doesn't matter if I die here well, I'll still be alive somewhere else. Endless parallel worlds, infinite versions of me. Somewhere I'm not a singer, I'm an office executive, or the father of a little girl, or a comic artist, drawing this story. I can see myself in all time and places. I'm watching it all from my satellite headquarters. I can see the earth below, and it looks so familiar, it doesn't matter if I die. No, really, I don't want you to find me. I just want you to listen, you're a Samaritan. That's what you volunteered to do. Please just listen to me. I know it's boring, but it's the very last thing I'll ever say. The rain stopped now. I can't feel the rain. Is this a dream? Just a sad, pointless dream I've been having? Alone in my bedroom, teaching myself to draw superheroes, listening to Radio Lichtenstein, changing from a child to a teenager? Welcome to the Power Hour, featuring your right royal ruler, Ken King! Up there! Can you see him? Look! It's a bomber! It's like thunder! They just stop the traffic for five minutes, you hear its engine, it's a monster! It's got the cobalt bomb! A big blue egg of a thing! One bomb with the power to destroy the whole world! Look, you can see the lights above the clouds, listen! They're counting on us not to listen! Stop the traffic, I'm not crazy, stop the traffic for just five minutes, please somebody listen! I'm just trying to save the world, just trying to do my job! Why is it so hard these days? I'm just trying to save the world. Just trying to do my job. Why is it so hard these days? Will this be enough? 
This has got to be enough, Crystal. That's beautiful, man. Look at that glow. I heard the rush is the most intense thing. It takes you right out of this world and into the place where you see everything that has happened, is happening, will happen, could happen, and could have happened. You see reality for what it is. Tiff, the imaginary story. Well, I heard it kills you, but you're not going to listen to me, are you? This is the real story, babe. But hey, don't bother paying attention to what I say. Nobody ever listens to me. I'm sick of the real thing. Dirt and shit. And going down on a fat guys for a few dollars to buy a shitty hamburger. So you end up as fat as they are. That's how the world doesn't end. Sometimes I feel so low. Like the last boy on earth, Tiffany. I don't want it real no more. I sure wish I had my old crime fighting buddies here to help me. The Atomic Pile, The Zipper, Mr. 45, and Romantic Rick. We'd have this one wrapped up in no time, and then we'd hang out in our HQ and have a few laughs. Maybe watch my favorite Martian. Too bad my friends are just characters in a kid's homemade comic book. Well, hey, Muscles looking for some hot action, babe? I start where your wife draws the line. What? No, I'm sorry. I miss I only ever loved one woman and she died. Another victim of a war against, well, something. Oh, okay. I am um, sorry. Listen, man, my friend's in trouble. He's taking this new drug called Crystal. I think he's going to kill himself and you seem like a good guy. He's right down there. Leave it to me, miss. As for you, I'd take care of there. There are a few rough-looking types around who may not take kindly to your individual style of dress. I'll be careful, miss. This is too weird. Oh shit, don't do it, man. This shit is bad. They say it makes you feel like a Superman, but then you die. I'm not gonna die. Can't kill what's dead already. Shit, I don't want to see this shit. There's nothing. I thought there'd be a rush. I don't feel anything. Reality no more. Shit, I just remember how to turn on my solo vision. Watch out! I'm invulnerable! I'm big as a house! Why wow, he burned me? I'm... I'm... Everything! Everywhere! Just a story! I'm making it up! It's me! I'm... I'm... Cosmically aware! Ugh! Shit! Solo vision, shit! He burned me with solo vision! Let me through! It'll be alright, don't worry! I'll get you to a hospital. A million worlds. I saw it. A billion. Me. Why my own eyes looking at me? I saw it. What? What is it? I was there. It's amazing. See through things. You can hear ice cracking in Alaska. God. The world's bigger for them. The world's so big. There are words. We're like ants. Just ants. It's the end of the world. They told me, look, see, it's the end of the world. They're coming back to save us. Where? What is it? Who's coming? Can't you see them? Everywhere, listen. Oh, shit. Sky's full of them. I can't look. Oh, mom, I can't. They loved us. They've always loved us. They've come to save us all. They're gonna take me with them. Wait, listen. I've thought of something. An old man gave me a magic word on a piece of paper. If you say it, maybe it'll save you. It was... I know I had to be here. I don't believe this. I must have lost it. They're coming. They're... Uh... I must have lost it. I've got a theory about comics, right? 
It all started back in the 30s and 40s, yeah? They call it the Golden Age Collectors I'm talking about. It was pretty simple then. Muscle men in costumes, idealized masculine figurines, the Charles Atlas hard body, homoerotic wish fulfillment. Then came the Silver Age, when superheroes were reinventing, and that's when it started to get a bit weird. Zoop! Zoop! Strange transformations, multiple realities, dreams, hoaxes. It was like the hard body began to turn soft. The masculine heroes becoming fluid and feminine, always changing shape. All that stuff was like a prophecy of the arrival of LSD on the streets of America. The comic writers and artists intuited the social transformation in their work. Am I making sense at all? I can't remember what I started to say. I don't like those big future head aliens. They were always fighting aliens in the Silver Age. What's going on in my head, all these stories? I can't talk fast enough to tell you all these stories. My skull's exploding. Ugh, those horrible old political bookshops with the pictures of the bomb on the front of the pamphlets. Hiroshima babies. I think, I feel really sick. I, I think I've been affected by radiation. I think I'm some kind of mutant. Why didn't this superhero save us from the fucking bomb? I feel so sick. Why didn't they stop my mom and dad fighting? Who's in that wash house with me? I feel sick. Is that the pills I took? Am I dying now? Can you hear me? Whose hand am I holding? Sure. I've seen the guy. You have? When? When was this? I don't know. Yesterday, today, a year ago. Who gives a shit this place? It's a magnet for every goddamn weirdo who ever lived. All I ever wanted was a nice bar with the regulars telling jokes like cheers. It's tears I got. Not cheers. Tears of shame. Thank God my mother died still thinking I was a big shot. Christ, this place is like one madman after another. It's like a production line. It's like a nut factory. What is it with that guy? Is he some kind of burn victim? What's that shit in all his face? It's just a mask to hide his secret identity. He's a crime fighter. Did he say anything? Did he say where he was headed? What? You think I memorized all the dumb conversations I hear in this shithole from Mad Men? Jesus, that's rich. Look, do you want a drink or don't you? Milk. Just a cool glass of refreshing milk for me, bar man. Meow. Give it to me, lovely milk for killer kitten. God, deliver me from this shit. What have we here, Ed? Another hopeful applicant looking to join the Legion of Legions? I don't think he's got what it takes. You need real dedication to make the dream team, honey. I had my whole body tattooed. Like it? If I can't be a superhero, I'll be a super villainess. What did you say? The Legion of Legions? Psst. The ultimate super team, honey. Lord Limbo, the gentleman gorilla. Rex Ritz and Sparkly the Glamour Boy. The fact. What? I didn't say anything. And milk's for sissies. They're real, you know. What? They're real. The Superman. I saw him once in space. I was on the last Apollo mission. By the time I went to the moon, nobody gave a damn. But I saw him all right. Some things you never forget. I pissed in my suit. That sounds disgusting, I know, but the suits were designed to recycle that shit I was drinking at an hour later. You don't believe me, do you? Nobody believed me. No wonder I'm a goddamn drunk. Billy Graham would be a goddamn drunk if he knew what I know. They're spying on us from the satellite headquarters, see? 
Nowhere you can hide. You can be here right now. All I'm asking is for somebody to believe me right now. Don't you understand they walk among us unseen? And secret identities. They could be watching us right now. The supermen are here. Why won't anyone believe me? Oh shit, shit. Buy me a drink, big fella. I was close. I was getting close. I was so close to the fact I could almost smell him. But I had no idea what my next move would be. Then I realized that what I was smelling was booze. Psst, hey! Cuss my palm of silver! I'll tell you the future! Sure. That would help me out if you could. Sorry, I don't have any more on me. I, uh... What happened to your face? Sold it for a secret knowledge. Men call me the mystery pilgrim. Well, they used to anyhow. Now they just call me asshole if they call me anything at all. Guess I just lost my way in the dark. But you're almost there, Flex. Couple of bucks from here. The fact found it the way through. It's a teleport tube. Leaves to the satellite HQ of Factory X and the Legion of Legions. But danger and despair and death on that road. I'm looking for a friend. I'll take that risk. How do I know? But he was gone, leaving only a haze of alcohol fumes and an empty bottle. And above the noise of the traffic, the ticking of the doomsday clock was getting louder and louder. It's the universe. It's, uh, it's moving in. I can't describe it. Like a soap bubble collapsing. Are you there? I can see them blurring in the corner of my eyes. Multiple universes converging. I wish I hadn't taken that acid. I feel, look. Oh, fuck, look. Uh, stop. I wanted to stop. Who's holding my hand? The bomb. Ground zero on my head. Humph. I can't hear you. I'm scared. Collapsing into I'm really scared. of shit who's with me. Not silver. Black. It's black. It's hell. I shouldn't have done it. It's taking me to hell. Up next. Crisis on Earth Omega. Flex Mentallo. Man of Muscle Mystery. Number 304. August 96th, 250 US, 350 Canada, suggested for mature readers. I don't believe in superheroes. Sure, I've seen the out-of-focus pictures, I've read the eyewitness accounts, the sightings of caped figures and mystery satellites, but I know there are no superheroes left. They abandoned us, left us to die here at the end of the world. I don't believe in them. I don't believe in them. So clap your hands together and say after me, there are no such things as superheroes. They all went away. Jesus, when did I start talking to myself? Signs and wonders. Harry, are you okay? Is everything okay? There hasn't been anything on the news, has there? I'm fine, honey. I couldn't sleep. I was thinking about the guy from today, Mentallo, that's all. You go back to sleep, sweetheart. I remember my dream. I was standing in a graveyard and the priest was telling me how someone had buried two tiny little people in cigarette packets. That's just crazy, isn't it? You don't think there's really going to be a war, Harry, do you? I can't watch the news anymore. Little children and animals dying, forests burning. Hey, they'll find a way out of it. Now do something for me. Get yourself some sleep and don't drive yourself crazy worrying about that stuff. I'll try. Harry, did you feed Peter? I, I think maybe I've been forgetting. I keep forgetting everything. I couldn't stand if something happened to him because of me. Are you kidding, baby? That's old Petey you're talking about. That goddamn fish will outlive us all. I don't want there to be a war. I don't want my wife to die. Rain falls on the monkey house. The inmates are screeching and tearing one another apart. Nobody's coming to save us. Nobody's listening to the ultrasonic shrieking of our signal belts. I don't believe in superheroes. They abandoned us to our fate. They all went away. All but one. After the Fact, Part 3. Dick the Vacuum. Grant Morrison, writer. Frank Quietly, artist. Tom McCraw, colorist. Ellie DeVille, letterer. Kerry Kalowski, editor. I'm still... I'm still alive. Still alive. Uh -huh, I'm scared now. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. No, that's not. 
Not what I meant. No, I mean I was talking about... I've just fucking taken all those pills and I'm gonna fucking die and my head's exploding with this stuff. Comics, all these comics and superheroes and it's just getting horrible. Now I just feel sick like that place with the little boys in the circle and that hand, who the fuck's hand is that? And shit, what was he talking about? What's happening to me? Thou knowest, Lord, the secrets of our hearts. Shut not thy merciful ears to our prayer, but spare us, Lord, most holy. Strange, isn't it? Children, perhaps, bearing birds or mice. It's just, see the details on the little carved stones? Very odd. Wasn't I right, Petey? You'll outlive us all, you little bastard. What are we gonna do now, you and me? What are we gonna do now, shit? Cancer. Goddamn cancer. Hoaxer, visitor for you. Lieutenant here wants a few words. Try not to make them four letter ones, asshole. I got a hell of a big stick here. Hope I'm not interrupting your, uh, what do you call that in any way? Occupational therapy? I guess I was just trying to hoax my way out of this dump. Implicit in the design of any prison is the means of escape from that prison. That's what I think, Lieutenant. And you were gonna do it with a toothbrush, a shoe polished tin, and a copy of National Geographic? Sure. All it takes is the right combination of elements. A bit of persuasion, a little misdirection of attention. It's easy. You can make people accept anything as anything else. Smell the flowers, feel the breeze, hear the waterfall. Believe it's your life. It's all a hoax, Lieutenant. The sunlight is a glint of a bare bulb on polished tin. The fresh smell of clean water is residual peppermint paste on the toothbrush. The visuals are courtesy of National Geographic and your own responses to the cover photograph. It's easy. I heard your wife died, heard it on the, uh, the grapevine, jungle drums. Brain tumor. Let me ask you something, hoaxer. What's the biggest hoax you ever pulled off? Well, wouldn't you like to know? People say to me, uh, fans, they say to, they say to me sometimes, uh, where do you get your ideas from? Fuck. This is really kicking in. Yeah, for the songs. Where do I get my ideas for my songs? Why does that seem so scary? Where do ideas come from? Why is that, uh, why is that so, um, scary? That's not a real girl, is it? She must be mad. Where does she get her ideas from? You talk about love. You write about love. You sing about love. Anything to avoid actually feeling it. Oh, watch out. My dad's shouting at my mom. My girlfriend's shouting at me. It's the same old shit. It never stops. Get it, get it, chick it, lick it, slice it, nice it. I just let her walk out. Maybe I can get a song out of it. No matter how shitty things are, you can always get a song out of it. Hello? Are you there? Are you still there? I can't hear. Christ, is that you? It felt like years. I was out there for years. Did that girl get raped or did she turn into the sister of Satan and kill everyone? I wish I'd seen that. Was I telling you about those political bookshops my dad used to take me to? What was I saying? Those terrible ban the book zines? When you're a kid they just look like comics at first, but they're not. It's all screaming Hiroshima faces, burning cities. I used to imagine God was a skeleton and the thunder was the sound of a big black iron train. War, apocalypse. They were like comics from hell. It really fucked me up. What? Something really fucked me up. Imagine the light of the missiles in the rain. People sleeping in their beds. Pets whining. Imagine having to think about that shit all the time when you're a little kid. Even mom and dad were scared of the bomb. What could you do? Where could you run? First time I read the word oblivion was in a comic story. The fleshless one. It was a black and white comic, an adult comic. Constant terror for two weeks convinced that horrible creatures from the subway were wearing my parents' skins. Nowhere was safe. There was no one you could trust. I knew I shouldn't have read those adult comics. I used to dream about the end of the world all the time. It peaked when I was a teenager, just like my comic habit. That's when I remember hot summer nights, sweltering in my bedroom, reading comics and dreaming and drawing while life went on outside the window. Imagine a jail cell, yeah. A fallout shelter where the walls are covered with so many drawings you can't tell it's a prison anymore. It's so bright and colorful. Sexy girls, handsome muscle men, adventure. You start to forget it's not real. You don't realize the world's ended for you. 
hot days and nights in jail drawing Thunder Girl with her tits hanging out of her top, or Supernova masturbating with the light up end of her solar specter. Who needs girls when you got comics? I wish I could be sick. I wish I could sick it all out. The world did end. Something happened to me. Something worse than the bomb. It all died. It's just taken me this long to catch up. All alone in the world. All alone in my room. Now the superheroes are as fucked up as the fucking rejects who write about them and draw about them and read about them. All the heroes are in therapy and there's no one left to care about us. No one at all. Saving the world sure does get more complicated all the time. In the old days I'd have found my missing ally the fact, had a team up against Shakaru or Dr. Vague and made it back home in time for a date with my girlfriend Dolores. Now I was knee deep in a conspiracy to destroy the world and I had to find a teleport tube that would take me to the headquarters of the ultimate super team. And if I couldn't get a distress signal to the Legion of Legions, the ultimate super team, Earth would perish. Strange how the sewer seems so much darker than when I fought Lars Lotus Worm Warriors here. Strange how I found myself questioning my own sanity and trying to find rational explanations for past weird adventures. My powers of muscle mystery are useless in this crazy world where mental gladiators meet in the clash of ideas. If Walter Ego can't defeat the alien tree warrior, Earth will become just one more trinket in their cabinet of tiny worlds. E equals MC squared! Think as hard as you like, Earth man! You'll never be my intellectual equal! I, the counting tree! I sure could have used the powers of Walter Ego's X-ray mind down there. He once reasoned that in complete darkness, people and objects would cast shadows of clear light, and it was this deeply held conviction that allowed him to see in the dark. Fortunately, I'd kept the syringe containing the mystery drug crystal, hoping to have it analyzed in an attempt to prevent the deaths of more youngsters. You never can tell when something might just turn into a plot device. Faculty X! Pierre They were there, wavering and uncertain like figures seen in a dream. Were they a large and well-organized group, or were they only one man pretending to be dozens? I should have known they weren't real bombs. The bombs that Faculty X used destroyed not objects, but certainties. What's your rating, muscles? This show is for adult superheroes only. Nevertheless, I knew for sure I had to go inside. Imagine vampire Amazons in wet look thongs. A shy secretary stripping down to her black vinyl costume. Gun smoke and spent caps and multi boy in his new fucking costume. That's what it's all about. That's why I'm here. What? I'm Flex Mentallo. No, he's a superhero. I made him up when I was a kid. No, I just feel sick and I am disorganized. I shouldn't be on this world. I've been born on the wrong fucking planet. It's a, it's a girl on my hand. I'm sick. It's my girlfriend. I'm just, I'm getting so sick of this. Are you going to do the usual and just sit there and say nothing? Why don't you say anything? You never say anything. I do. I must have forgotten my word. Fuck. What's the magic word? That's what I need to know. The word. The word that turns me from a stupid boy to a superman. Little me is in a bird's nest boat lost in an unknown sea. What's worse than the bomb? There are people in this alley watching me. I'm not just hallucinating them. They're watching me. But now I can see them. What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? His name's Peter. My wife called him Peter. Him, her. How should I know? It's a goddamn fish. And its name's Peter. She loved that fish. I couldn't tell her when he died, so I had to run to the pet store and buy her a new one. I lost count after Pete number five. The fact is, the fish got changed more often than the water. I guess that's my little hoax, huh? You okay there? I thought I saw something. Nice place you got here, Lieutenant. Don't fucking patronize me. The place ain't fit for pigs since my wife died. And call me Harry for Christ's sakes. We're partners now, right? I have the beholder, Harry. Maybe I see things you miss. Partners? Why me? I'm not sure why you. Call it a cop's intuition if you want. Listen to that. Sears boiling! Moon bleeding! You hear that? There's no way to run, hide anymore. We gotta stand up for something. I want you to help me find Flex Mentallo. He can't save the world on his own. Hmm. Don't think I ever saved the world before. Be nice to try. Check your coat, sir. Mmm, He-Man. Ooh, I'd like to see him up against Hercules. Hercules, Hercules and Samson! Samson. <laughs>
Beads of sweat broke out almost immediately. The underground palace was too hot, the air thick with sweet smoke and crackling ozone. Strange thunders from high in the ceiling, flashes of twinkling light, and old film as super-speed beings mated with their own afterimage. I was trying hard to breathe. Breathing. Breathing the narcotic vapors of spectral avengers. Inhaling ghost girls, blue clouds of incense, and ectoplasm uncurling into my brain. The room was spinning. I was there with Flex. I'm there. Things begin to get blurry and strange. There are people everywhere, wearing clothes like the flags of undiscovered countries. Sudden emblems, clouds and lightning bolts, flaming hearts. The night nurse in white leather with her cross earrings and exploding thuribles. Grasshopper girl and skyline vampire X. Baby blue and powder pink teen ultra girls, giggling. Gold taps running, filling baths with champagne. Bubble bath! That's what it's all about in the end. When you come right down to it, Lucius Snake, bitches in red rubber, sexy telepaths stripping your mind naked, Frederick Reham was fucking right. Orca Jr. in a black skin suit, writhing on the polished leather seats of a black and chrome amphibious dream mobile with lantern headlamps and jagged dorsals, fetish dreams of flying women and boy hyper sluts. That's what it's all about, power porn for retards. Vigilantes rocking up the body count, rape scenes and cutaway costumes, sea green muscle men wet from the ocean, flexible people tied in sex knots, girl avengers with bondage suits and bandoliers. All trapped here in the between room. Superpowered hopefuls unable to make it past these halls to the secret headquarter of the ultimate super team. Of the Legion of Legions itself. There are only whispers, eerie names on the night wind. Lord Limbo, Turbo Trooper, Felix Ting, King of Kung Fu, the Query, the Human Mind, intelligent alloys following and melting across shuddering flesh, forming pleasure armor. Radiator 9, invisible women with lipstick pouts drift by like butterflies. Outer Boy, Gee Whiz, the rubber suits with the slinky girls and hard boys, the crime and punishment, the blue blonde Eve Stranger, the Queer Cavalier, it's what keeps me coming back for more. That and not having a girlfriend. Mandu the Mysterious, Dad's Phantoms, the Blazer. There's Microbella stripping on a microscope slide. There's Zoo Man in the Panther Cage. There's the Blood Group snuff video. Watch Mr. B, Miss O, and Raves take on two minor supervillains in a deserted barn. If you ever wonder what a human face would look like after tangling with the Raves' corrosive claws, today's your lucky day. The Golden Agent, Afterman, and more. A swarm of bee women operating with one mind aim their guns and strafe my face with aphrodisiac stings. No! I have to reach the teleport tube. You must let me contact the Legion of Legions or... The gentleman gorilla. The greatest heroes of countless alternative Earths. The ones who made it past the traps. Something terrible will happen. The last best hope for a doomed world. Zap! Pow! Look out! Comics aren't just for kids anymore. Fuck it. Fuck it! Multiple universes converging. Mustn't let them touch. Oh look! He's seen me! Oh fuck! I don't want to die yet! Because when it comes down to it, how could you love anybody the way you love Thunder Girl? You try and it's like heaven. But it's only like heaven. It's not heaven, is it? What's like heaven? Oh shit, oh shit. They fuck you up, those comics. They really fuck you up. Something... I can't stop, but I've still got things to explain. I was almost there. Something happened. Where's the bomb? I'm dying. I'm... Where's colliding and imploding? I'm blind. Turning to ash. It's here. It's something. Help me. It's too big to... I can't look at this. It wasn't a dream. It was real. This was fucking real. I remember it now. That wash house. It wasn't a wash house. <laughs> Aliens. I was abducted. Or maybe it was like I was abused or something. Oh, fuck. I'm going to turn around and see who's holding my hand. I'm not scared, even if it's my uncle, or fucking E.T. Turn around, I'm not scared, just let me die, I don't wanna, I don't wanna know who's holding my hand. Hello. No, no, this is fucking impossible, no way, no. Welcome to What Shall We Call It, where you get your ideas, remember? Up next, Flexus. Flexman Tallow, number four, September 96th. 250 US, 350 Canada, suggested for mature readers. Meanwhile, the polyverse faces complete annihilation. Endless parallel realities consumed by a force beyond understanding, the villain only known as the Absolute. The end of all life everywhere. We don't have much time. Nanoman, Minimus, ready! 
I guess we're ready. Honey, does it really matter if we're ready or not? This is the only chance we're going to get. Minnie Miss is right. My power of third sight gave us some warning that this catastrophe was about to occur, but we still have only one shot. If this plan fails, reality dies at dawn. We can't let it fail. We're the Legion of Legions, and humanity's counting on us to save the world. So quit yapping, Limbo. I know we've had our differences in the past, Nano Man, but, well, you know what? I'm saying, man, good luck. It's all down to you now. Bravo and Godspeed, my teensy-weensy friends. Okay, okay, let's go. I love you, baby. I always love you. Always. They've gone into the microverse. Now it's up to us. Lord Limbo, the teleporter. Someone's coming through. It's finished. Earth is finished. I watched the moon turn red and crumble in the sky. I saw the seas boiling. Tad's phantoms died a second death. No more sky. Ocean seething, everyone screaming at once. There's nothing we can do. Lady Limbo and Megalus checking out. Our prayers. I've just lost reality beta. We're all that's left. Look at it. The absolute. Rising like the dawn. Nothing this evening. The universe eating everything. It's finally happening. We can't do anything to stop it. I could run and run at light speed, but there's nowhere left to go. We can't stop it, gee whiz. But we can use it. My counterpart, Mando the Mysterious of Reality Gamma, managed to tell us that much before his universe was destroyed. We have to open a defect envelope into the absolute and mail ourselves into a new reality. Never shook so far! Never so small! We're entering the quantosphere! The fundamental state of being! I love you again! I can't think anymore! Love always! Love you! Don't forget the word! Sha! Sha! Oh god, it's love, it's... It's contained a fraction of our enemy in one of my hubble bubbles. Now it's up to Nano Man and Mini Mist to seed the absolute and plant the ultra hyponic code word. This is it. Table retract. Emergency stations. Disintegration code infrared. The seed is planted. If this works, we'll meet again on the other side. And there's the trigger image. Hold that in your minds. The key is the man in the moon. Engine failure. We're going down. Strap yourselves in. Brace yourselves. It's not death. It's something new. Limbo, you ain't making it any easier. Prepare to become fictional. <laughs> Much later. Jesus, what a mess. Did Mentallo do this? Mentella's a boy scout. My guess is Faculty X did it. They want him to go on. They want him to find them. They're controlling everything. What the hell is that thing, Hoaxer? I think it's a teleporter Mentella went on through here. I'm sure of it. This is the way, Lieutenant. This is where we have to go. Jesus! I don't know if I can handle this shit. How am I going to go in there? You go in through the door. What's the problem? It's too big. It's Christ. I don't know. It scares the shit out of me. It's something new, Harry. You want to help save the world? You have to take the rough with the smooth. Enjoy it while you can. And let's hope Mentallo's out there ahead of us. Jesus Christ Almighty. I'm nuts. I've lost my goddamn mind. After the Fact, Part 4. We are all UFOs. Grant Morrison, writer. Frank Quietly, artist. Tom McCraw, colorist. Ellie DeVille, letterer. Alex Alonzo, editor. My search for my old crime-fighting buddy, the Fact, had definitely taken some unexpected turns. One minute I was trapped in a subterranean pleasure palace for adult heroes, and the next, well, even I'm not sure what happened next. I remember struggling towards the teleporter tube, that's for sure. And there were men in hats and coats. Faculty X. 
They cleared a way to the transporter, and as my glass door hissed shut, I saw all those weird super people screaming with rage. Then they, well, I'm ashamed to say, they turned on one another. The silent assassin called Death Trappist pulled out his guns. The Kill Clock clan unsheathed their talons. Sarge Siraj snarled and opened his trench coat. And then I was gone. And as ringing silence settled around me, I realized my journey to the other side of beyond was over. I'd made it to the satellite HQ of the Legion of Legions. Flex! Too bad. Too late. The end was drawing near. Hello? Hello? Hello, are you still there? Something funny happened. I'm... I'm at home. I don't know how I got here. I'm a bit scared, to be honest. I don't understand how come I'm still alive. What? No, I feel a bit weird. It, I feel a bit weird. Have I been talking to you the whole time? Yeah. M&M's, M&M's. How the fuck did I get home? I was talking about the superheroes. It wasn't aliens. It wasn't abuse. I was abducted by superheroes. The ones from the comics, they're real. Use your binoculars. You'll see it better. I remember this dream. I was just a kid. In the dream, I met this man with stripy trousers and I gave him my binoculars. And he looked through them and said, There I am. They talk to you all the time when you're little. They live in, I don't know, it's like a factory where ideas are made. They escaped from the absolute, but the plan went wrong. Reality was flawed from the beginning. I mean, haven't you ever felt like there's something missing? They want to come back home. We can save the world if we just... If I can just remember my magic word. What? No, the world doesn't have to be the way it is. We can be them. It's their world that's real, not this one. Our entire universe is a bubble inside this. Being called the absolute. Yeah. They bypass the death of their reality by becoming fictional in ours. The ultimate pathetic truth and pathetic existence, they told me. See, we made the comics because we knew something. We knew something was missing, and we tried to fill the gaps with stories about gods and superheroes. But they're coming back to save the world, they told me. They created us, but something went wrong. Nanoman, he said, and Minimus, like in the comics. The comics are just like crude attempts to remember the truth about reality and... Flex Mentallo's in trouble. What? He said Flex Mentallo. That's what... That's what I've been talking about. I made him up, but this little kid says he's here. Where? Where's here? I'd made it. It's just that I wasn't quite sure where I'd made it to. Too late. The Legion of Legion is long gone. I trapped them in the heart of the Dog Star. Bow, wow, wow. This place is mine now. The creative engines here on the satellite have been mine to control for quite some time. I made you, Flex. I made your whole sad, scabby little world to entertain myself with. And now I'm going to destroy it. Who are you? When you're lost in the dark, it's my face you see. I'm the villain. Ooh! Face rings? A bell? Weren't you one of the insecurity guard? Or did you once fight Viet Man? No one's ever fought me before, Lex. I can't be fought. I can't be reasoned with. Your friend the fact learned that when he met me. Now he's gone. I spread and twisted him backwards and forwards through time and space. How peculiar he must have seemed in his mad attempts to guide you here. That's right, Faculty X is nothing more than the fact displaced through time. The fact is, the fish got changed more often than the water. He left that card. It's what made him think the world was worth saving, I believe. But now he's gone. The fact isn't, I'm afraid. I have something else to show you. We call it a symbol of the age. The house that I built. Look! Your world isn't real, Flex. It's just a cheap replica. An imaginary story barely fit to amuse children and illiterates. I'm here to bring some realism into your life. This is Black Metallium. 
This is the death of Flexman Tallow. And no one cares. And after you, I'll kill the world. Rip it up like paper. Bomb it back to dead dust. You failed. So weak. That's enough, asshole. I got six chambers of semi-jacked realism aimed right at your sea of tranquility. Drop the rock. See, on one parallel earth, my pill bottle had paracentanol in it. On the other, it had at M&M's. All I've got to do is decide which one I'm on. I'm only dying if I took the pills. Listen, I really appreciate you talking to me for so long. No wonder they call you Samaritans. You must just... The Legion of Legions is trying to get through. Shit, did you hear that? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was it? The legions of legions, oh shit. I went in through the castle in the goldfish bowl. That was it, right into my head. And everybody's head. And he told me the secret origin of everything. Since we came to live in the imagination, we've been creating and transmitting ideas directly into your reality. How crooked and strange your world seems to us. Something, something has gone wrong. I'll try to explain. It was Nanoman and Minimus. They'd shrunk to cork size, crisscrossing and weaving through space-time to build a whole universe from the ground up. They're everywhere and everything simultaneously. We're made of them. But it was too much, he told me. The shock of it. They went into some kind of fucking quantum coma, right? They weren't alive and they weren't dead and neither was the universe. The Legion of Legions couldn't come back until... until we decided one way or the other. They want us to believe. They want us to believe the universe into life. We are waiting in the star Sirius, which is an interior star. We're waiting for you to remember and choose, and make us real again. Don't be afraid. Before it was a bomb, the bomb was an idea. Help us, he said. Help us rebuild in your world the shining towers of Neurotropolis, the gloomy canyons of Satellite City, the little orphanage in Fairville, the plazas and monorails of Archway City. No more barriers between the real and the imaginary. I can't be remembering this. I'm losing my fucking mind. I took pills, and all the characters I read about and the ones I made up are dying with me. That's all. I took pills. But it might have been M&M's. Drop the fucking rock! Uh, maybe I was wrong about Faculty X being behind it all, Harry. My hoax sense is jangling. Whose story is this? Harry? This imaginary story? Not yours. Not his. The hoaxer hoaxed. Get with the program, Harry. Happy endings are for kids. Son of a... Let's hear the sentimental fish story again, Harry. The little act of kindness. One more time before I make you grieve so hard there's only one way out for a grizzled old war horse like you, huh? Jesus! I love my wife, you fuck! What do you love? God damn it! There is no love in this world anymore, Harry. Do it. Do it, Harry. Do it for all of us. Blam! Huh? That's right, blam! You've been had, Dad. Seeing's not believing. And no one hoaxes the hoaxer. Least of all you. No! Know what I think? I think you want everyone to be dead because looking at life makes you realize what you're missing. Only a bitter little adolescent boy could confuse realism with pessimism. Flex it, Mentallo! You bet. Hero of the beach! Ah! Got him! Well, thank fuck for muscle mystery. It's not over yet, Harry. One more thing I have to do. Uh, uh. There! So now you know my secret identity, so what? It doesn't matter, it's all shit. Pathetic fucking power fantasies for lonely wankers who've had so much sand kicked in their faces they look like the opening credits of Lawrence of Arabia. Look at you. A half-naked muscle man in trunks? What's that supposed to signify? What are you? Do you know what you are? Sure. I'm a superhero. 
Being clever is a fine thing, but sometimes a boy just needs to get out of the house and meet some girls. Gamble a Stan? I can show you how to be a real man. The world's going to end. I made the world to end. I don't want to die. I just want to be the last boy on earth. On my own, where no one, where nobody can see me or hurt me. I just, I've killed the whole world. What have I done? It's my apocalypse. Not if I can help it. It was M&M's. Why should I want to commit suicide? I got a brilliant life. It was him. It was me, age 16. He'd have killed me if it wasn't for Flex. I must have known when I made him up. I must have known when I was little, Flex could never let us down. Swell! Swell! Well, well, well! Well, well, well! Fuck, I'm really tripping, like, something really amazing is about to happen. Nano man mini miss nano man mini miss nano man mini miss nano man mini miss nano man mini mystery ambient pulse cycling systems activation. Do you believe in superheroes? Imagine it real. Imagine the technology, their culture impacting with ours, dreamatrons and boom shoes, parasuits and omniscopes. Image. Imagine the music we can make. Ultrasonics, infrared sound. It was just the light I read my comics by. The man in the moon, I mean. The key is the man in the moon. Where are all these mad ideas coming from? Whatever happened to that light? Everything's coming alive. Everything's starting to glow, ha! Huh? If you could just feel it. This is what it must feel like to be a superhero, you know? Hearing other universes chafing against ours. I have to see my girlfriend. I have to tell her it was all just a stupid... It was all just stupid. I have to tell her. Love you. Always. Love you. My God. Hello? Hello? Was it something I said? Hello? Is anybody... Shit. Oh, shit. No batteries. Alive. The universe is dead. The universe is alive. Clap your hands if you believe in superheroes. I... <laughs> no fucking batteries. <laughs> Click! Event sequence activated. The world doesn't stand a chance, Mentalo. They won't come. Why should they come? Why should they care? Look at this. I thought he had coal in his hand before he disappeared, but look. They'll come. It's a diamond. You came through for me, Lieutenant. They'll come through for us. The fact is out there somewhere, and I know we can trust him. The distress signal's on its way. All we can do is hope. This is Flexman Tallo, signing out. I'll be right here if you need me. Meow. <coughs> Christ. Sorry, mate. Welcome. You have been inhabiting the first ultra post futuristic comic. Characters are allowed full secro integration with readers at this level. The key is the man in the moon. We are now retrieving the global activating code from your DNA cell structure. S H A. Christ Almighty, what a fucking night. Christ Almighty, what a fucking night. Brilliant fucking. Huh. No way. The Nanoman Mini Miss Quantum Weave is responding to code activation. Cork turn on. Atoms turn on. I'm still hallucinating. I must be. The word. Full systems activation. Cells turn on. Regeneration cold. Ultraviolet hypno trigger activation. Prepare for re entry. Ha! Brace yourselves for total reality. Oh, Tibber. Where is he? What happened last night? Where did he go after? I, oh shit. Last call for flight 230. 
They're coming through. Thank you for your participation. Is somebody there? Shit. I love you. Why is it so bright? Is that the dawn? Look. Look up.